kind of sleepy and tired, but welcome to my ideal morning routine. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tanika. I am a 29-year-old graduate student at Columbia University who is actually doing a year of nothing right now. I'm not taking classes and I'm trying to just really enjoy this time that I have left. Finishing up my program, writing my paper, this is my cat shop, and kind of just trying to figure out what's next. So in my ideal morning routine, <laughs> Ideally, <laughs> I'm laughing because I literally just spent like 20 minutes just scrolling on like Reddit for clinical psychology PhDs and like just getting a little anxious about that. This is my five minute journal that I like to do when I wake up in the mornings. So let's do that and then we will do some other things. Also, ugh. And keep this huge jug of water next to my bedside so I can drink water when I wake up in the morning. Just finished journaling. I actually really love doing this in the morning because it kind of gives me like a north star for today. So one of the questions in here is like, what are three things you can do that will make today great? And I always kind of make it a mini to-do list. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from that, but it does kind of help motivate me to like get out of bed. So now I have some stuff that I want to do today. So I'm like, oh, let's go. But before we go, I I am doing a meditation challenge right now. I do, if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, or I'll probably put it on YouTube shorts too, I want to do like a mini meditation challenge, but I figured I should probably do one personally first before I try to craft one to share with others. So I'm gonna just log into Insight Timer right now and start the fourth day of my reset and refresh meditation challenge. I've really been enjoying it. And yeah, if you have Insight Timer, if you don't, it's totally free and this challenge is free. And it's for the new year, but I didn't start it until like, honestly, I'm on day four, but I probably started it last week. Like I don't think I've been doing it every day, which I want to change, but you know, just taking it one day at a time. So let's start day four. Day four of Insight Timer's Reset and Refresh Challenge. Your call to break free from the ordinary, let go of what's been holding you back, and step into your life with a fresh perspective. I want to make an in-depth video about like how I cleared my skin and like my skincare routine and my makeup routine but it's honestly very intuitive and so I have really 
very oily skin and so it truly just depends on how my skin feels in the morning when I wake up. So right now it's not feeling oily or greasy at all so that makes me feel like we had a really good moisture routine last night. So I'm not going to strip any of the moisture from my skin and I'm just going to go in with this micellar cleansing water from Garnier just to refresh and then I'm going to do this lightweight moisturizer from Ghost Democracy. This was actually a PR gift that I got like a couple of years ago now. I think like last summer. And it's really good. I love it for days when like I don't need to do a lot to my skin. And then I'm just gonna follow up with the Black Girl Sunscreen. I use the kids version because it's actually a higher SPF and it's cheaper. So I'm gonna do that quickly. And then we're going to start really getting our day going. So I'm feeling really good, like my skin feels nice and refreshed. I do want to start incorporating like a little bit of makeup back into my daily routine, but because today's Sunday, like I, I'm not going to wear makeup on Sunday. I just don't see the point. But on Monday, next morning routine I do, it will be on a weekday because I just got this yummy skin from Vanessa Myrick's Beauty, so I'm really excited to try that. And then I got this Walkery pencil, just because it's like the most beautiful pink ever. And then I also got this NARS pencil sharpener because if you use NARS pencils, you know, only their sharpeners fit their pencils, which is the most annoying thing ever, but like a smart marketing move for them. And then I also got the Danessa Myricks yummy like blurring powder. I realized like while a lot of people like liquid blushes, I really don't think I do. So I got this because it's like a balm that turns into a powder, which I really love like a nice powdery finish. I also kind of want to get the NARS like orgasm blush and then I was also, I also ordered a few things online. So coming into 2024, we're going to have a new like little makeup routine that hopefully I will do daily. But right now, I haven't really been doing any makeup, especially not on Sundays. But also, I like washed my makeup brushes last night, so they're still wet. So I couldn't do it even if I wanted to. But I'm really excited to just be like using more like black owned beauty brands. If you didn't know, Danessa Myricks, I believe that's how you pronounce it. She's a black woman. And I just feel like when I buy black owned foundation, it's just such a better color match for me. <laughs> like, honestly, if I try any of these like popular, not black owned beauty blends, like the browns just like aren't browning for me. So with all that being said, makeup morning routine coming at a later date and time. I, at this point now, wanna have a little tea. If you didn't watch my Vlogmas Diaries, then you might have missed it, but I got a tea advent calendar. And they just have a bunch of little teas. And let's do this one. It's green tea, flowers, and red fruit called Hanam Tea. And they're just like, oh, like look at how cute the little packaging is. Like I'm obsessed. And these are like really fancy teas. Like they come in this little cloth bag. It's insane, but it's a nice little treat to have. And it literally tells you like to have it in the morning, to soak it for like three minutes, um, like the temperature it should even be at. So I usually, when I wake up, before I even make my bed, I'll put my hot water on because I just know that I like to have tea in the morning. It's a good way to like drink water too as well, but like just with a little flavor. So I'm gonna have that. And it's Sunday, so I'm gonna go over my Notion and just make sure that anything I didn't do last week, I move it into this week. I'm also taking this week off at the UN, which is really nice, so I have a lot more time for personal stuff. And I haven't even told you guys yet, but 
I have a really important interview coming up next week. So, well not next week, I think I have two weeks to prepare for it, but I want to start prepping for it next week. So I'm really excited. So yeah, I have to update my financial planner too, so I'm going to have some tea and do that. Getting my life together this morning took way longer than expected because as I was clearing out my to-do list and everything from last week, I realized I left a lot of like just little things that I just did not want to carry into the next week. So I spent a lot of time just like downloading the statistical software that I need in order to be able to see all the data for my lab because they, we just moved off of Qualtrics, which is probably really boring if you're not into statistics or clinical psychology. But anyways, so I did that and then I also had to fill out some forms for a therapy appointment. I responded to an email to get things moving on like my piano lessons. So all things are like going forward and I feel really good about that. At this point in my morning routine is when I make breakfast. I am a huge breakfast person. So today I'm thinking we're gonna have a little veggie omelet. If you watched my last vlog, you probably saw it. I'm literally just gonna make it again. But I don't have as many veggies this time. But I'm just gonna, you know, use what I have in the fridge. It is Sunday, so I'm on like my last leg of just about everything. And then I'll probably make a little coffee with it. I typically try to delay my coffee until I have food because I just learned from personal experience that if I have coffee before I put anything in my stomach, I literally will forget to eat for the rest of the day. It's like the caffeine becomes my fuel and then like I just, I'm like, what is food? I forget all about it. So this morning we're gonna have some hash browns, we're gonna have a veggie omelet, and then we'll have a little iced coffee as well. So let's uh, get the ball rolling on that. <laughs> I also made a bunch of like these banana, walnut, chocolate chip muffins. They're so good. I ended up freezing like a handful of them just to have for later, but I'm gonna have this as a snack because I'm actually really, really hungry. <laughs> some like leftover corn here which you know at first thought it's like I probably want to put corn in an omelet but at this point why not it's Sunday so I usually make like hodgepodge things on Sunday just trying to use like everything in my fridge so nothing goes bad and it looks pretty cute now it's like yellow green red all colors now <laughs> And then while the veggies are sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little egg mixture for the omelet. I typically just do two eggs. If I'm really hungry, I'll do three, but two is usually good for me. I used to do like an egg yolk and an egg white, but honestly, I've just gotten kind of lazy. <laughs> and I don't feel like separating the white from the yolk, and I also think nutritionally, it's better to have the egg yolk anyway. I did want to show you guys what I season it with, so like salt, pepper, boring, but necessary. I also put in a little of the Shunami seasoning from Trader Joe's. It is 
so good like honestly it is just like it just makes everything like savory and if you like truffle then you'll like this like i love mushrooms i love truffle so like i just kind of like putting that in everything and then also if you're someone who puts like hot sauce on your omelets i highly recommend adding a little bit of cayenne pepper to your egg mixture because it's just going to give it that spice that you want from the hot sauce but not be like super saucy so I'll mix that just like this. You can't see it, but I don't want to like spill the eggs either. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little milk in it. Not too much because the milk is kind of sweet, which is why I like putting the cayenne in it because I feel like it like takes out the sweetness that the milk adds, but I'll just mix it all up. But sometimes oop, it'll get like little clumps of the seasoning in it. So I just like to mix it until there aren't any clumps in it anymore. Ooh, I have to start on the hash browns or they won't be done in time. Okay, hash browns are in the air fryer. You guys might hear a terrible humming noise. I apologize. I'm gonna take the veggies, just put them off to the side. And then I think the key to making like the perfect omelet at home is to have a really small saucer. So like this size is perfect because it's gonna be the size of the omelet. So I don't have to do too much thinking about it. I'll just take the little egg mixture, pour it on in here, and then I literally just let it cook until it's done all the way through. And you, you'll kind of see it. Like, it'll be a little sloppy on the top, but you can kind of smish it around, then give it a flip, and it'll be good. That's what it looks like, and then I'll come back when it's a little bit more done so you can kind of see the difference. So, hopefully you can tell the difference, but it's a lot more cooked. What I like to do is I like to kind of pull it around so I can get the eye kind of cooked on the sides. Just like that, and then eventually, I'll flip it, but not right now. I want to get it as cooked as possible before I even try to flip it. Like I'll even lift up the sides a little bit and then let the egg get kind of around and underneath it so it can cook a little bit more that way. All right, the moment of truth. Now we can try to flip this over. Oh my God, I just ripped it. <laughs> But whatever, I'm just going to put the filling in and then we'll flip it, like so. Looks pretty decent. We're gonna cover all the stuff that looks bad with cheese, so it'll be fine. There, and no one is the riser. Hey, my loves. Oof. I always forget how squeaky she is. That really concludes my uh, ideal morning routine. This happy coffee was sent to me in a PR gift, and I actually really enjoy it. Like, it's so tasty. It does need a little flavor, so I got a coffee creamer with a French vanilla flavor just to add to it. But it's really good, especially if you're trying to boycott Starbucks like right now, as I am for the Gaza, Israel, Hamas conflict. So if you're looking for an alternative coffee, check it out. My discount code is on the screen and then also in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this like little ideal morning routine. It was a very lax one because it's Sunday. The next one I do will probably be like a weekday and maybe we'll have a little bit more structure. So makeup and having to be somewhere by nine o'clock. <laughs> all right, yeah, and that's pretty much all I do. I don't really work out on the weekends. 
I do have a question for you though. Is there something that you do that I don't that you think I should know about? If there is, let me know in the description box below or maybe what is your favorite aspect of your own morning routine? I love learning about other people's morning routines because it's like, ooh, like they can kind of pick and choose and make your own best like custom morning routine. I was thinking about like including reading in mine, but I just knew I had to get moving and I honestly, not shown on camera. I spent a lot of time doom scrolling about PhD applications and then my cat threw up. So that kind of, you know, it happens, <laughs> but it's not ideal. <laughs> so please don't think this is a perfect or accurate representation in the least. Well, my breakfast is done and it's Sunday. So some of my favorite YouTubers have uploaded. So I'm gonna go watch some videos. Please make sure you leave me a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Subscribe, -a, please, a. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you.